the Detroit Tigers are not panicking. They shouldn't. They hold a 2-1 lead in their American League Division Series against the Oakland A's. They need to win just one of their next two games. They have their best two starters lined up to start in them. But they need to shake off their offensive struggles, and soon. The Tigers went 0-2 for two with runners in scoring position Tuesday night, which made it one of those rare occasions when the number on the right side of that stat, the two thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Was more troubling than the zero on the left. Miguel Cabrera, Prince Fielder and Delman Young combined for one at bat with a runner on base, and that didn't happen until Fielder stepped to the plate with one out in the ninth. Even then, Cabrera was on first and not in scoring position. The Tigers managed just four hits, all singles, in a 2-0 loss Tuesday night to the Oakland A's. Since they had so few hits, we have space here to look at them individually, with one out in the thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Second inning, Young singled to center field. J. Donnie Peralta, the next batter, singled on a liner to right to put runners on first and second. This, it is worth noting, was the most serious scoring threat the Tigers had all night. With two outs in the seventh inning, Peralta singled to center. With one out in the ninth, Cabrera singled to right. Fielder followed by grounding into a game-ending double play. That was it for the Tigers, who were shut out just twice in the regular season. They pitched and played a perfect thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Game, Tigers manager Jim Leland said. You have to tip your hat to them. Nothing you could do about it. Tigers fans are tired of tipping their hats. The Tigers have done that all too often this season, sometimes against mediocre starters. But Brett Anderson is no ordinary starter. He's a talented young left-hander who posted the 2.57 era in six starts this season after recovering from Tommy John surgery. The ESPN baseball analyst Jim Bowden said during the game via his Twitter account, Brett Anderson will win a sight young in his career. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Book it. Anderson was making his first appearance since September 19 due to a right oblique injury, but Leland was not surprised that he was effective. Not really, because A's manager Bob Melvin is pretty smart, Leland said. If he had not felt totally comfortable with him, he would not have pitched him in this game. I expected him to be good. He's a very good pitcher. I thought he had an excellent curveball. The Tigers had just two at-bats with a runner in scoring position in the thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Game, both against Anderson. After the singles by Peralta and Fielder in the second, Andy Dirks hit into a fielder's choice for the second out of the inning. That put runners at first and third with two outs for Avi Lyle Garcia, who grounded out to Anderson. The Tigers never had a runner reach second base in the final seven innings, runs are at a premium in the postseason, and that has been the case for both teams through three games of the ALDs. The Tigers have scored just eight runs, the A just seven. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. But the Tigers have just one scoring hit, the solo home run by Alex Avila in Game 1. They have scored three runs on errors and one each on a ground out, the double play ball, the wild pitch and a sacrifice flight. Even if they finish off the A's on Wednesday night, they need to find their group offensively or they could find themselves fighting an uphill battle in an AL Championship Series matchup with the Yankees or Orioles. On the bright side for the Tigers, they should be done in the ALDs with thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Left-handed starters, who seem to be very problematic for them. A.J. Griffin is set to start game for and Jared Parker is the likely starter for a potential Game 5. The Tigers have Max Scherzer and Justin Verlander set to pitch the next two games, should both games be needed. Also, even though Fielder went 0 for 4, he deserved much better. Fielder got absolutely robbed when Coco Crisp made a ridiculous catch to steal the home run in the second inning. He got slightly robbed when Steven Drew made a nice play to retire. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Him on what looked to be a single up the middle in the fourth. Ben Fielder was robbed again when Yoni Suspedis made a diving catch on a ball hit to the gap in the seventh. 
It's frustrating, but that's a good team you're playing, Fielder said. They're going to make those plays. That's why they're here. In hindsight, the play Chris made might have been a game saver for the A's, who scored in the bottom of the first hand would have seen the Tigers regain momentum had Fielder's ball left the yard. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Instead, when Josh Donaldson led off the second, it marked the first time in the series the A's came to bat to start an inning with a lead. They never let it slip away, thanks to Anderson and an impressive outing by the A's bullpen. Sure, Tigers hitters struggled, but the A's really did play a perfect game. Give credit to them, Peralta said. They played good baseball. We need to come in ready for tomorrow and see what happens. Tomorrow is a different day. Dirks agreed. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. They won one here, he said. Tomorrow's the next game. We don't really worry about what's happened in the past. We never have and we're not going to now just because they won a game. The Tigers shouldn't worry about losing a game. It happens and dwelling on it won't change anything. But Tigers fans should be excused if they are concerned about how the offense has fared so far. And that concern will continue to grow, at least until the number of Tigers runs and hits grow.